The question I've been posed is, what is art? I have a definition that I use in a very broad sense of what constitutes art. But the entire study of aesthetics, the branch of philosophy that deals with it, has been attempting to answer that question in a definitive sense since images have existed. <clears throat> I like to define art as something created that is intended to give a viewer an aesthetic experience. And when I say aesthetic experience, I mean it's meant to make them think something, it's meant to make them feel something, it's an object or an image or an experience that has been created in order to be enjoyed, uh, viewed for its own qualities, experienced just for the sake of experiencing it. And that's my definition of art. But that's a definition that works in the context of the visual arts and still is not inclusive of everything that is considered art. Um, if you want to learn more about the ideas of what is art, um, you should research postmodernism because at one point in history, art was very confined and it was considered to be painting or sculpture or architecture. And as the years have gone by, artists, historians, and other people have added new types of art. Um, there are things now that people consider art that lots of other people don't. And so it's sort of indefinable. But even if you define it, that definition is only temporary because it's a continual evolution of ideas and things that are enveloped in and fall under the heading of art. I think any work of art has to be purposeful. It has to be intended to be art by someone. And other than that, Anything else falls under the category of someone else's personal preference or taste, what you consider good art or bad art. And if I could give you an answer, if I had an answer to that, my entire life would be summed up in that answer. So maybe one of these days before I pass on, or maybe not even then, I'll have a better definition. That's what I say art is.